Welcome to 14.4 straight from Europe. I did not want to leave you guys hanging and I wanted to give you guys a couple of quick tips to be able to get through this workout. The first element that we have in this thing is a rower. It's the first time we've seen this in the open and the only thing I would say is pace it and see if you can find a tempo. The tempo, I would stick to a three to one tempo where in the load as I go into the catch looking like a deadlift, I would count to three. So I would give myself three seconds on the way down, three seconds, one, two, three, one second on the way out. Now that pace could be a little bit slow, but that tempo is what we're looking for. So it's one, two, three, one explode. It doesn't have to be three seconds. It can be your own count, but that will help you pace the rower and get into a better rhythm from the get-go. Then going into the toast to bar, I've talked about toast to bar many times and toast to bar, what I want you guys to think about are a couple things. One, the grip. How do I grab the bar? Well, the first thing I want to do is I want to get my pinky knuckle over the bar and I want to make sure to try to hook grip this, meaning thumb over the index finger and middle finger. If I can hook grip this thing, I will not be focusing so much on trying to hold on to the bar and I would only have to think about hanging. Hanging meaning letting the shoulders almost relax. The more I can relax the shoulders at the bottom of the thing, the more I can swing. Now at the bottom of the swing, what we'll start seeing is that legs start spreading out and that is a loss of tension. That loss of tension will cost you in the long run. So if you just think about keeping your feet together, that will generate some extra power to get your toes up there. And then the last thing you want to think about during the toes to bar is not to pull with your arms. Don't let this angle close. If you let this angle close, what happens is that now your grip and your lats and your back start getting tired and you have to really drive the legs up and your abs will get fried really quickly. It doesn't matter what style you keep, if it's straight leg or bent leg, it's up to you. As long as you can do those things, hook grip, grab on tight, hang loose, keep the feet together and don't pull, we're on the money. Try to look straight ahead or slightly down if you have to. Every time you look up, you're going to tend to pull. Then going into the wall ball, the wall ball is always a mess, but if you can adopt a wider stance where you get a wider stance for the wall ball, that will allow you to create a little bit more tension at the bottom and not have to focus so much on just going pure legs here. So wider stance gives you a little bit more of that, boom, bounce out of the hole. Otherwise it is just a grinder. Then. Moving on from there, you have the cleans. You saw Bridges and Panchik, they were going singles. When you go singles, very important, as you bend over, you are already set to grab the bar and pull. As you receive at the top and drop, just reset from the top and then make your way down. As soon as you grab, boom, you pull and you go. So the clean, even if it's single repetitions, the descent has to look like I'm holding on to the bar already. You do not want to think about dropping the bar and then trying to reset from the bottom. That is going to cost you a lot of money. And then we get into the fun stuff. If you make it to the end where the muscle ups are, that's where most people are going to struggle. I posted many videos about the muscle up, but just remember the muscle up transition is actually really just a roll. Now I'm on very hard rock surface here, but I want to show you what I'm talking about. If you can perform a candlestick roll, that right there is your actual transition. That is your muscle up. So thinking about that is going to be extremely important. If you have muscle up, remember to look straight ahead keep your feet below the horizon. If your feet go higher than that, you're going to get this double leg flick and it's not going to allow you to transition and eventually you're going to tear your shoulders up and you're going to feel completely fried. You're going to feel like you're hitting a wall. Now if you watched the open announcement, you may have seen the difference between Bridges and Panchik. Bridges had his head very tucked in as he received in the muscle up. Panchik was a little bit more here and that would cost both of them a little bit of money in terms of upper body strength. So if you are performing muscle ups, always remember, receive with the head down, that will be a better shoulder position, more stable shoulder position. And then the last thing, think about the muscle up as two movements. One, the muscle up, which is getting over the rings, two, the dip. 
the muscle up, I like to relate it to the clean and jerk. The performing the pull up over the rings, that's your clean, and the dip is your jerk. The more you can use the kip on both those movements, the better. But having that mini pause in the middle where you receive in the bottom of the dip, pause, extend the legs, kip, that will give you a chance to reset and maybe crank out an extra repetition or two. If you make it to the rower, I'll see you at the CrossFit Games. Peace.